NOAA researchers are mourning the death of a Hawaiian monk seal that some have known for years. It got entangled in a fishing net and was found on Oahu's leeward coast. We're told beachgoers tried to save the seal, but it was too late. And its death also deals a blow to research itself. Elisa Revelo follows up for us tonight. Elisa? Kathy, the seal RW08, or better known as Kirby, was nine years old and was known to NOAA researchers since its birth. I'm told this isn't the first time the endangered species has died due to fish netting. NOAA tells me Kirby was found at Makua Beach on Friday. All evidence right now would point that the animal got entangled and, and drowned. But anytime you lose an animal, um, it's... It's a blow to the people that, that are out every day, the volunteers that are trying to protect them, our program. Along with the SEAL's death, NOAA is dealing with another loss. Researchers recently tagged Kirby with a camera to study his behavior, but his body wasn't recovered. Uh, the members of the public that had actually found the SEAL um, had disentangled it, uh, brought the net in, went out to try to uh, recover RW08. Um, by that time, another seal had come by and was actually being quite uh, defensive. Noah tells me Kirby was one of only 1,400 Hawaiian monk seals in the world. I'm told it's a huge loss for science and the community. Since 1994, five Hawaiian monk seals have died in fishing nets. NOAA documented three other cases where seals either escaped or were released. Environmental group 808 Cleanups tells me it's removed 11,000 pounds of fishing nets and other marine debris so far this year. Typically, we pick up a net usually about once a week. People are required to register the net, but oftentimes they don't tag the net, the part that can float away. So it can be really difficult to keep people accountable. And it's just situations like this that... Um, hopefully make fishermen stop and think, make scientists stop and think, make everybody stop and think, what can we do better in order to protect the things that we do and protect the animals that are trying to coexist with us. NOAA says it's possible the data from the research could still be recovered if the seal's body washes ashore. There is the chance that we might still be able to recover it, um, and we hope we do. Um, but ultimately, the big news is um, the tragedy of the loss of this valuable seal. Now, if you come across an injured or dead seal, NOAA says you should leave it in place and give them a call. I'm told the seal's death is under investigation, so if you have any information, you're also asked to contact them. We'll have contact information for NOAA and for the 808 Cleanups Group on our website at khon2.com.